Hello everyone, this is a video on how to upgrade the hard disk or SSD or replace the hard disk or SSD in an HP notebook, model number 17-X047NA, uh, otherwise known as product Z9C40EA, and in the UK or EU, possibly hash ABU on the end of that. So this is a huge laptop, it's a 17 inch laptop, and looks like that standard kind of HP thing. First things, remove USB adapters from the side and the battery. This will be destructive for the stickers on the underside here and here. There are two screws that you need to get to which are under there. Uh, you could peel the whole sticker up but it's just going to be easier to go straight through the sticker and unscrew those two screws. And then because there's bits of sticker now stuck in there you're probably not going to be able to lift those screws out but that's not really an issue. So we're now going to go around the rest of the laptop undoing all the screws and then just in case they've used different length screws, it's always a good idea to lay them out in a way where you know where the screws came from when you put it back together. Thinking about this screw, which is for the DVD drive, we might actually have a bit of trouble taking the D DVD drive out with that screw is still there, so we'll have to tackle that one in a moment. So to get this DVD drive out, uh -huh, okay. just while pulling on the DVD drive I then kept undoing the screw, which meant that the uh, pressure put on the screw by this bracket would have uh, forced the screw to ride up and out of um, where it's stuck because of the sticker. So DVD drive is undone, and that one is undone, but we can't retrieve it because it's again stuck underneath the edges of the sticker there. There are two hidden screws underneath the feet at the back here. One is there. And the other is on the other side in the same place. Next thing is you need a spudger or um, spatula or something. This is a little craft paint knife which I think works really well. And we need to go round in between the palm rest and the black underside of the laptop. So I don't know whether it's going to come across very well in this video because of the lighting, but you've got the silver palm rest and then a black outer edge. That is now down between that. And it should be a case of gently levering to undo clips which will be down the side. There's one clip undone. I'm just going to go along Undoing the remaining clips. A 
get to the edge of the laptop and continue doing the same. So the only thing I'd say here is where the um, HDMI connector is, you're probably not going to be able to unclip it as far as the rest of this because the outer metal shroud of these connectors often gets stuck um, in the plastic recess here. So leave that as is, as long as you've mainly undone most of the clips there. When we come to take the cover off, uh, we will slide it this direction, uh, which will bypass that problem. Moving on to the other side. So everything is now unclipped except for the very back and where the HDMI connector is here. Just lift up from the DVD side and tilt it a bit towards the back and hopefully the clips along here will come undone. With these kind of HP laptops, it's just perseverance and slow progress, but you will get there. So now you can see we can hinge the laptop, which means over here where we've got the HDMI connector keeping it in place, we can hinge it up and then push it that way and the HDMI connector comes out from the plastic. And here's the inside of the machine. We've got the RAM, which the primarily primary installed one is not soldered onto the board, it's a, an actual stick of RAM, and then you have a spare RAM slot. Wi-Fi card, hard disk, cooling fan, CPU. The CPU will be BGA array soldered onto the board, so you can't just unscrew that and drop in another processor to upgrade it. You've got the speakers here, and um, keyboard connector, video connector, possibly touchpad or... no, that would be touchpad there. Not sure what that one goes to. Maybe the uh, power button and power light and stuff like that. BIOS battery as well. Back to the task at hand, which is replacing the hard disk. We need to remove this ribbon cable, which is on top of the hard disk. So at one end, take your pick. This uh, cream bar will hinge. It's currently, uh, say, like that. It'll hinge upwards um, to release this ribbon cable. So you see, I'm going to put my nail under the cream bar and flip that upwards, which now means I can just gently, with no force at all, I can lift that ribbon cable out of the connector. Now, HP have glued it, or double-sided taped it, to the hard disk, so just lift that out. And the hard disk itself, being mindful that there's a connector that's soldered to the board there, so you don't want to just try and rip it out from this end, um, I'm going to lift it up at the non-motherboard end slightly and then so I'm only like probably that far off of the the case and then I'm going to wiggle it away from the motherboard and the hard disk comes free in what looks like shockproof mounting which is quite good so there's the old hard disk 
going to get the new SSD that I want to put in and then put it in the shockproof mounting which this hard disk is actually yeah, similar size and then we would just put that back in and then close the case up. In this instance I'm going to clone the customer's data from their existing hard disk onto the SSD uh, and then I will put the laptop back together. So I will be uh, back after doing that and you can see me putting the laptop back together. If this has already been helpful to you it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on but the subscriber numbers really do help. But stay tuned and you'll see me putting this machine back together as well. Thanks. Hello again everyone, the drive is now cloned and time to put it all back together. So that's plugged into the SSD, sorry, serial ATA connector, and now I'm putting these little, they're not very useful for an SSD because of, there's no, doesn't matter really about vibrations, but I'm putting those down in this corner bit and then push the whole drive downwards into place and now we can stick down the well I plug it in first and then we need to stick it down using that double-sided tape which is on it So that's now securely pushed into the connector there and I'm going to, like I did with the undoing it, I'm going to hinge it downwards this time. And if you've done it correctly, there should be no uh, massively visible black strip where that connector is. So if I undo this, you can see that black line running across the connector there. Close it back up again whilst making sure it's securely in place and you can see the white connector kind of covers that black strip so if that black strip is either wonky or um, not fully in and you can see some of it then um, have another go at reconnecting it putting the cover back on I found that it's easier at the uh, starting at the front near the speakers so we've got the speakers over here and the front that goes closest to you and Make sure you clip it in all down the front first, because if you start at the back, it seems that the clips at the front are much more difficult to uh, to clip in. Those are all clipped in. Time to do up the two hidden screws. then all of the outer screws on the cover
the DVD drive. Now we can put the battery back in. Any USB devices they had plugged in can go back in. And we should be good to go. And hopefully it boots up off of the new SSD. Looks good. Great success. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.